Yay! I am glad for y'all to see me today. I mean, I am glad to see you guys today. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've made a video, and I hope I still know how to do it correctly. We've gone through the COVID, just the world just fell apart, and whoa, just glad to be back with you guys. We're going to make avocado salad today. Some people call it guacamole, but this isn't like baby food paste. You know, it's not that pasty consistency. This is going to be chunky, and it's going to be delicious. We eat this every day. I'm not kidding. With fish, with chicken, sometimes we'll just eat it just with a spoon. <laughs> no kidding. So let's get to it. You're going to need three avocados. We're going to need a whole jalapeno pepper. We're going to use a cup of diced onions, and we want to dice those rather finely. We're going to use a cup of tomatoes. That's a Roma tomato, so I'm going to end up using the whole thing. We're going to use half a lime right there, and we're going to use all this cilantro. It's organic cilantro, and we're going to use salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and, and process the vegetables, and we're going to put this thing together, y'all. This is what a good avocado should look like, and it should have a little softness to it, okay? Let me get that close for you. See, it's not really bright green, so it's ripe. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and just cut along the axis here as straight as we can get it. Let me see if I can do this for y'all. And then we should be able to just split it just like this if I cut it straight. That's a beautiful avocado. And then what you want to do is just take your spoon and work around the outside edge like this real gently. And it pops right out of there. Just like We're going to want to definitely cut this into cubes not really big cubes I mean we want to be able to put this in our mouth just like that that size right there oh boy oh boy we are here we are about to assemble this bad boy and it's gonna be so good I put my tomatoes in there I want to make sure I get everything out of there. And we're going to go for our diced onions. It is so beautiful just to make this. We're getting everything out of there. Get out of there. Yes. All right, we're going to go for our jalapenos. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, definitely getting all of those. I left some of the seeds. I normally don't leave the seeds, but I did this time because I just, I love the heat. Okay. Got a little bit of granulated garlic I'm going to put in there. You don't have to use this, but we're just going to kick it up just a notch. It's minced garlic is what it is, guys. All right. It's my favorite thing right here, the cilantro. We're just going to sprinkle it around. Let me move this closer. Just sprinkle it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I want to get as much of this as I can. We're going to use half a lime and squeeze it all over. I mean, this is... All these flavors just marry together and they taste 
absolutely amazing. And you can adjust any of this after you make it this way the first time. If you want to leave something out, you can leave something out. Put some more stuff in. All right. We're going to stir, guys. Just going to stir that just like that. Now, at this point, what you're going to want to do is um, grab your salt and pepper. You're going to want to season this. I'm going to season it the way I know it needs to be seasoned, and you do the same after you taste it a few times. There's a lot of things in there that require salt, so it's going to need some salt. And I'm just going to put just a hint of pepper in here. If you like this hotter, you can always add some cayenne pepper to it. I've done that before, which is really nice. And then we're just going to stir. All right, I'm going to taste it, see if it needs any other seasoning. Look at that. Wow. You can taste the cilantro. I'm getting a little bit of heat from the jalapeno. The lime just gives it a nice fruity, sweet flavor. A little acidic with a tomato the onions got that nice textural crunch to it and the avocado is just like butter I've got a couple chicken breast here seasoned I'm gonna put it in our pan I've got olive oil in there we're gonna serve this with our avocado salad Alright, last thing we're going to do is squeeze a little lemon and lime over the top of our chicken. Oh boy. And we are ready to serve this. Alright y'all, here it is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful dish. Very easy, simple to prepare. I'm going to take a bite of the chicken. I'm going to put some of this on there. Oh my god. I'm just going to put this chicken in my mouth and then take some avocado salad. Mm, the lemon lime on there is awesome. I mean, you've already seen this mm, beautiful stuff. It goes absolutely perfect with the chicken. The jalapeno gives it a smoky flavor. And the lemon and the lime, the acid, it's just amazing. I hope you guys try this. And if you do, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Share this thing if you like it. Please, I'd appreciate it. So until the next time, y'all, I'm Patrick. Thank you for watching.